Recombination generally describes the processes by which an electron from the conduction band makes an energetic transition and neutralizes a hole in the valence band resulting in reduction of the number of free charge carriers in the semiconductor. The models for recombination processes relate to the physical mechanisms by which the carriers make this energetic transition. Under the recombination tab of the material property editor window, device provides models describing various recombination processes including trap assisted recombination, also known as shockley reed hall or SRH recombination, Auger recombination, and radiative recombination. In addition, it contains models for carrier generation processes including impact ionization and band-to-band -band tunneling. The recombination process in the trap-assisted model assumes that there are unoccupied trap states, also referred to deep-level defect states, within the band gap. Typically, these states result from impurities, either intentional or unintentional, and the most active ones have energy levels near the middle of the band gap. Recombination occurs when an electron relaxes, transfers energy to the lattice or emits a photon, to the trap state from the conduction band, and sequentially a hole from the valence band relaxes to the same trap state. The density of trap states within a material determines the average lifetime of carriers, the average time that carriers can survive before getting recombined, and this is taken as input in the material model. The higher the density of trap states or recombination rate, the lower the carrier lifetime. Moreover, device provides a temperature-dependent model for the SRH carrier lifetime, as well as models that include corrections for doping density and field effects. The trap energy level can be specified in the model by its offset from the material's mid-band gap energy level. Auger transitions are three particle transitions in which two carriers recombine and transfer energy and or momentum to a third carrier. Auger recombinations depend only on carrier density and become significant only at high carrier concentrations. The recombination rate is described by a capture coefficient for which a higher value means a higher recombination rate. The capture coefficient can be defined to be temperature dependent. Moreover, two correction models named White and Baser are available. The basic model is suitable for devices where Auger recombination is moderate, low injection conditions. The White model can be used as a correction to the basic model and accounts for the reduction in the Auger recombination rate observed at high carrier densities. The Baser model is designed to account for the two regimes related to minority carrier injection. When using this model, the solver will use the Auger capture rate coefficient defined in the basic model for low injection conditions and apply a second coefficient when a strong minority carrier injection dominates. In a radiative transition, a conduction band electron will relax directly, emitting a photon whose energy approximately equals to that of the band gap and then recombine with a hole in the valence band. The opposite process is called optical generation and occurs when a photon is absorbed by an electron in the valence band, promoting it to the conduction band and leaving a hole in its place. Radiative recombination transitions are typically significant only in materials with a narrow band gap or a band structure that permits direct transitions in momentum, for example gallium arsenide. Radiative recombination is typically negligible in bulk silicon. The recombination rate is determined from the product of a capture rate coefficient and the carrier density. The capture rate coefficient can be modeled either as a constant or dependent on temperature. Impact ionization is a carrier generation process where an electron or hole accelerated by a high field will relax by transferring energy to the lattice. When energy exceeding the band gap is transferred to the lattice, an electron hole pair is excited and separated by the strong local field, generating additional free carriers. Above a critical threshold, this process leads to avalanche breakdown. The impact ionization process is exponentially dependent on the driving field, either the quasi Fermi level gradient or electric field component in the direction of the current density 
and the local variations in the quasi-Fermi levels through the current density. Consequently, it is a highly nonlinear process and its inclusion in the physical model for the semiconductor can cause divergence in the simulation. By default, the impact ionization process is not enabled. When simulating avalanche breakdown, additional settings might be needed to ensure simulation convergence. The band-to-band -band tunneling is a carrier generation process in which an electron in the valence band of semiconductor tunnels across the band gap to the conduction band without the assistance of traps. The band gap acts as a potential barrier that the particle tunnels across as a result of severe band bending due to high fields. Two models for this process are included in device, the Herx and Schenck models. For more information about these models, see the related links below. In the next unit, we will explore other material types including conductors and insulators.